Family and friends of Holly Clark, the 27-year-old woman whose disappearance nine months ago captivated the city of Helmton, have returned. They're back to host a vigil on Saturday and hope to find the answers to questions that still remain. Dale Monachtuck joins us live with the details. Dale. Holly Clark disappeared on January 11th and was found on September 8th in Hamilton Harbor. Her body had to be identified via dental records. Now, police said two weeks ago that no foul play is suspected, which leaves many questions unanswered for her father, Dave Clark, and close friend, Elle McPherson. Holly's family went to this Toronto funeral home to pick up her remains today. She had been in the water long enough to need dental records to identify her, and her lower legs were missing. It's been two weeks since they were notified by Calgary police that her body was found in Hamilton. The last confirmed sighting of Holly Clark alive was on the day she went missing. The last time Dave Clark heard his daughter's voice was when she left this voicemail for his wife, Greta, Holly's mother. All I want in the world is to see you in this day, because I love you both so, 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 so much. We went through the grief of expecting to find her dead at that time. But then our hopes were raised, you know, time went on and there was no body. So it's uh, it's really a crushing blow. While Dave Clark finally has his little girl back, questions still remain. I've, I've heard that there's nothing suspicious and it just seems very hasty to me. So, you know, if if something happened to her, I don't really know if I want to know it. But, uh, you know, I think the public needs to know. The office of Dr. Michael Polinin, Ontario's chief forensic pathologist, performed a second autopsy on Holly Clark. The results are expected back in five weeks. We were concerned by the statement that, which seemed vague to me, that sometimes boat strikes remove the lower legs I, and without actually getting information that there had been evidence of that. So we asked for, uh, we asked if we could have somebody else look at it. On Saturday, the family is hosting one of several vigils nationwide for Holly Clark. The Hamilton one being held at Woodlands Park is expected to draw a crowd of hundreds. I don't think that we've got words for it. This, the city of Hamilton, the people of Hamilton have welcomed Holly as their own. The city of Hamilton approved the vigil despite the province's recent rollback of private gathering sizes. If it's an organized event, you can have up to 100 people um, as part of your event. So we, in order to get that, we did have to provide a COVID plan. We had to obtain fencing, create bubbles. We'll be going on the ground for individuals to safely distance. We've got, of course, disinfectants. We're asking people to bring masks and, of course, say, stay socially distanced. In order to reduce the crowd size, the family are encouraging people to stream the event live on Facebook. Now, in the center of your screen near the top is what used to be a Holly Clark mural. You can still see that the bangs of her hair are still there. It was painted over because it is a public graffiti board. Now, on Saturday, people are going to be encouraged to come by and write their condolences on this board after it's going to be completely painted white by local artists. And in lieu of flowers, people are encouraged to donate to 541 Cafe in Hamilton, which helps the vulnerable population. Back to you.